How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be looking over the new 89 overall Martin Nietzsche's uh, Nations of Hockey card which EA has re-released from NHL 22 back this year. They brought it back for free. Uh, you can get this card through the objectives and today I'm going to show you guys how to do it, uh, how to make the card and we're going to go over the card itself, look at the abilities and stuff and we'll talk about uh, just other things you know what to do coming up with GWC and how you want to spend your resources. Uh, this is a great time for EA to release a card like this uh, since team of the year is coming out you know you want to you don't want to be wasting all your resources and coins on things that aren't really going to stick around on your team for a while so this is a must make card and uh, yeah I'm going to show you guys how to get it for free and uh, yeah let's get on with the video. Alright guys so hopping onto hockey ultimate team here uh, we can see right away this is the new card a super sick card art for the double IHF uh, I really like the design uh, so if you hop in a hut here uh, we're going to go check out the card right now. Uh, we'll, we'll break down the abilities, uh, just the card itself. It's a really good build. Uh, and then the card's right here, so let's take a look at it. Uh, so right off the bat, looks like a great card. First thing you notice, these abilities are unbelievable. Uh, you got gold wheels, silver unstoppable force, and lead edges silver. Um, I mean, honestly, these are all really good. Like, this is pretty much the best ability combo in the game especially with gold wheels getting the buff recently in the last patch um yeah six foot two 189 he's got playmaking forward along with shooting boost which is a huge huge synergy everyone loves shooting boost and playmaking boost as well uh so yeah 95 acceleration 94 agility um and at this point of the game guys endurance is something you got to keep in mind i see a lot of guys have have these cards like jack eichel x factor for example um He's got great skating stats, but you can't ignore his endurance. Um, so 87 endurance is great, unlike some cards that are still in the low 80s, 82, 83, which is getting really, really low uh, at this point in the game. You want your guys to actually be able to stay out on the ice, so this card is perfect. Uh, 95 speed is deadly, especially with these abilities. If you throw gold wheels on him or even elite edges, he's going to be just buzzing around. Uh, great shot, and like I said, he's got shooting boost, so you can get that up to the mid-90s. Uh, great hand stats all over 90 down the board uh, body checking is okay uh, he's got 90 strength which for six foot two 190 it's 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 perfect you don't need higher than that um, yeah and he, you could you could play him at center also he's got 87 faceoffs um, pretty low shot blocking stat but that really doesn't matter it's it's all about the actual offensive abilities for for a guy like this so yeah, this is a great card. Um, if, you, if you're free to play, if you're new to the game, this is a card you must make. Honestly, even if you have a god squad at this point of the game, this card is, in my opinion, just as good as Gordie Howe uh, um, icon. Uh, so, yeah, that might be an unpopular opinion, uh, but I, I seriously think this card is just as good as Gordie, if not better, uh, in some departments. So if we head over to the Hut Moments tab here... Uh, we're going to click on that, and then you're going to be able to see right here the Nietzsche's flashback uh, objectives. So there's three objectives, very, very similar to the uh, 87 Halloween Claude Giroux card. Same concept. Uh, so the first game, you're going to be on pro. Uh, super basic. Get two assists with Martin Nietzsche's, get shoulder checks, and score goals with any player. So, And it, you can you can complete these in a, in a matter of different games. You don't have to do these all in one game. Um, so you can spread them out if it's going to take a bit longer. That's fine. Uh, same thing for the second one. Super, super easy challenges, guys. Uh, the, the third one is on Superstar. Uh, so that one might take a little longer for some people. But yeah, you can see underneath for the rewards. Uh, so you're going to get these collectibles here, which, which add up to the perfect amount of collectibles to actually make the card. Uh, so if we head over to sets here now... Uh, we'll be able to see what it's going to cost you to make the card um, and you're not going to have to upgrade it when you when you when you acquire the card it's going to be already maxed out at 89 which is huge so here it is 75 flashback uh, collectibles um, so yeah you're going to get all of these from the challenges um, and it's 100 free guys there's no reason not to make this card i'm going to go ahead and do the challenges right now after this video um, i'm going to slot them into my lineup here uh, so I'll show you guys where I plan on putting him. Um, I actually run my wingers on the proper side. A lot of people don't do that. Something I just like to do. I mean, uh, I've gotten ha the hang of it and I I'm just used to it a little better this year. I feel like just for zone entries and stuff, it, it opens up more opportunities. So that's why my wingers are actually on their forehand side. 
Um, yeah, don't don't ask any questions. So Nietzsche will probably be like he. It's it's tough to tell. Like he's so good, and if if you want to activate ability, he could be a first liner. Like honestly, at this point in the game, Nietzsche looks just as good, if not better, than Shanahan team builder. Other than the abilities and the synergy activation you get from Shanahan, uh, just looking at the stats alone, um, I'd honestly prefer Nietzsche right now. Um, so honestly, Nietzsche might get slotted into my first or second line wing position. I'm not going to put him center because uh, I do like my high faceoff overalls. Um, so yeah. And just to show you guys, this is the team I have so far. Um, we're, pre we're preparing for team of the year and GWC is right around the corner. So we want to make sure we're stocked up. Um, this fourth line is going to change. I'm going to have to sell this McKinnon and this Hughes and this McDavid. Uh, once team of the year comes out, I'm going to acquire all the team of the years. So here's my defense. My defense are super solid. Um, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, yeah, not much is going to change here before GWC. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And I'm still rocking the 85 live moments under. He's the best goalie in the game, in my opinion. Look at that record. 235 games played. He's 194 and 41. So... Uh, I, I don't know that's at least an 85 90 win percentage roughly so he, he's disgusting and I also forgot to mention guys you can literally go in the store and get this card for uh, 4,000 points which equates to almost like $50 Canadian um, so I wouldn't recommend this but it is an option uh, it's obviously well well more worth it to just do the challenges and complete it in 20 to 30 minutes um, it's it's there's no reason to buy this pack guys don't buy this please save yourself some money and just go just go to the challenges um, but yeah I almost forgot to mention that so I just wanted to throw that in here um, and we did finish rank one this week on ps5 uh, we got pretty lucky a couple wins but we actually pulled it off so I will have another video coming out uh, rank one rewards and I will go over my team more in depth and my plans for UWC uh, moving forward um, so yeah awesome Anyways, guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. This is my first time making a video like this. So if you guys have any suggestions or or just tips or constructive criticism on what I should do with these videos, let me know. And if you guys liked it, uh, let me know. I really will appreciate the feedback. Uh, and if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, uh, same thing as my YouTube, Paranormal71. Um, I play Hot Champs runs on there and stuff. So, yeah, awesome. Take care, guys, and uh, have a good night.